Coca-Cola's wild side hustle has been exposed. Turns out the major soft drink company produces as much as 3 billion in pure cocaine every year. It sells it to one of the world's largest opioid manufacturers in a secretive deal with the US government that has recently been renewed. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we gotta talk about Coca-Cola producing between two and three billion dollars worth of pure cocaine every single year. And not only do they produce that much cocaine, they also sell it to Big Pharma. Now, this is not a fake story. I did my due diligence. I did my research. I did my Googles on this. This is 100% fact. Now, million dollar question, elephant in the room. Hey, ABL, how can this company do this? I thought it was illegal to import cocaine, produce it, all this and that, let alone sell it. Well, hey, the DEA is cool with it. The federal government cool with it. IRS are cool with it. They got a sweet little deal. Now, don't you, Mr. Regular Everyman, try to go in your living room and import uh, coca leaves from Colombia and produce cocaine right there. You're going to the penitentiary. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. You're going straight to the bars. Okay, you're going to be having your little, your tin cup, banging them on the bars. You're not going to be able to do what they do. Now, there's an article we're going to get through to get more um, information, more context. If you want to read it for yourself without my commentary and interruption, the link, as always, will be in the description. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio to go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's get into it. You see the headline, New Jersey Chemical Plant Manufactures $2 billion worth of cocaine on behalf of Coca-Cola. So there's an actual plant you can go to where it's, it's, it's right there. It's all good. All right. A discreet chemical plant in Maywood, New Jersey, has special license. They have a license to import coca leaves on behalf of Coca-Cola. The Maywood chemical plant is managed by the Stepping Company and is the only company to have a license from the DEA to import coca leaves, which is the plant used to make cocaine. Now, I want to pause right here. You can do a lot of things in this country as long as you've got money, right? You want a fully automatic weapon? All right, pay the federal government. You straight. Pay for a tax stamp. Now, of course, you gotta. they're going to watch it. They're going to know where it is, but do they know, really know where it is? Are they going to put a GPS tracker on it? I'm not really sure, but different story. Um, anyway, yeah, you can get a fully automatic. You can get a lot of different things as long as you're pulling up that money, okay? Anyway, the New York Post reported the imported coca leaves are decocainized, if that's a word or a thing, and later put into Coca-Cola as an ingredient. So, you know, the whole thing that I guess it was a, a myth or it was a long time ago, they put cocaine in Coca-Cola. Well, you are drinking the byproduct of coca leaves in your Coca-Cola. It's just not the, it's not cocaineized as they say. Okay. It's, it's not going to have you hyper. Well, the caffeine will. But different story, I digress. Anyway, so you don't have to worry about failing a drug test after drinking the coat. Of course not. All the leftover byproduct, however, which has a value of close to $2 billion, is then sold to an opioid manufacturing company called Malin Crocked. I have no idea. Y'all y'all, correct me on the pronunciation. But yeah, so it's not only about just the taste. It's not, it's not just about that. It's like, hey, man, we got to get these leaves in here because, you know, we got to be able to make sure that the product tastes the same way that it tasted back in the day when we could put the cocaine all the way in it. It's not just about that. It's also about the byproduct they sell for $2 billion. Now, of course, they wouldn't be able to continue keeping that revenue afloat, and the federal is wanting to keep taxing the revenue, so it's all good when they do it. It's a problem when you do it. Let's keep on going. So, yeah, like, here's a, a little quick caption. Coca-Cola produces as much as $2 billion worth of pure cocaine every year in a secretive New Jersey factory, all thanks to its iconic recipe and a very special arrangement with the DEA. All right, it is all good. So here's a little excerpt from the Daily Mail. A uh, chemical company hitting in New Jersey neighborhood as an exclusive license to import coca leaves to the U.S., etc. cetera. Um, that's pretty much it. So operates under special licenses issued to it by the DEA. It's the only company in the U.S. permitted to import coca leaves and manufacture cocaine. So they have a legal license to produce cocaine. That's, they have a license to do it. Now, again, you do that, something like that in your living room, 
do that in your grandmama's basement, all y'all going to jail. Okay, the ATF going to be boot on your door right away. Okay, they, the federal is going to come to your door for a, a bump stock or, okay, your, your barrel or your rifle is too short. But again, if you pay the government some money, then all of a sudden, the bump stop thing is not even the problem. You can have a fully automatic weapon. If you pay the federal government all of a sudden, your your 10-inch carbine with the, the, the stock on the back is totally fine. It's only about when you don't pay. It's like the whole thing with weed and stuff like that. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm no advocate of drugs at all. I know what drugs do to people and communities. I'm only speaking about the hypocritical nature of the federal government. They want to ban certain things and deny certain things from the American people only when they can't pay for it. And they're going to continue that type of rhetoric when it comes to gun control all the way around. They want to have tighter restrictions on guns in the federal government, but at the same time, the money exception will still be there. Okay, you can't buy AR-15 in a gun store. You can't buy some automatic weapon. But if you got that money, you get whatever you want. That's how it goes in America, unfortunately. Okay, so here's something else. U.S. pharmacist, a pharmacist invented Coca-Cola. Very interesting. In 1886, first Coca-Cola contained cocaine, about nine milligrams per glass, which was removed from the drink in 1903. Eventually, he sold his business for $2,300 in 1888, just before he died. Okay, wow. Only two bands, but I guess that was a lot of money back then, of course. You know, 1888, that's, you know, a long, long, long time ago. Shout out to um, this guy right here for making that. The cocaine was removed from the formula in 1903 after it was discovered to how to extract the flavor of the coca leaves without using cocaine. Okay, so so that's that. Very, very interesting. I had no idea that they actually produced cocaine and sold it. See, it's, it's not just a matter of, hey, man, you know, it's the recipe. You keep the same recipe. And I'm sure you can, I'm sure with the way things are right now, especially with these soft drinks with sugar, sugar, sugar everywhere, high fructose corn syrup, if you can reproduce sugar with high fructose corn syrup, like you have regular actual cane sugar, then you have high fructose corn syrup, not the same thing. If you can reproduce what sugar is, with high fructose corn syrup, surely you can reproduce the flavor of Coca-Cola without, without using coca leaves. I think the whole coca leaves thing is just an arrangement. It's been going on for a long time, and it's a lot of money generated from it. Okay, Big Pharma needs it. Coca-Cola needs it. Federal government needs it. Everybody wins. Well, Coke doesn't really need it. Again, you can make the flavor artificially in a lab without using the leaves, but the federales need that money and Big Pharma needs it. That's why, in my humble opinion, it's continuing to go on. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about this sweetheart deal from the federales and the DEL Coca-Cola? Hey, you can import coca leaves and produce pure cocaine every single year and sell it. Not just, okay, we produce it. As a byproduct, we're going to just discard it. We're not going to do anything. Nah, we can produce the byproduct and sell it. So I'm sure that byproducts a lot of times get polluted with things because it's like trash. But if it's not polluted, then they probably make the byproduct, quote unquote, in the way that is suitable to be sold. It's done on purpose. But whatever your thoughts on that are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. You can do whatever you want to do as long as you got that money. You can do a lot of different things. And my fear is that the regular, everyday, common person, you and I, will lose our civil liberties in the name of safety while those that live in the ivory tower or in the sky can do whatever they want. That's how you widen the gap between the haves and the have-nots, the rich and the poor, the high class, low class. That's how you do that. The middle class won't even exist because you take away their ability to make money, save money, civil liberties, gun rights. You take all these things away from them. How can they ever reach this higher echelon where they don't have the same rules and laws applied to them because they can pay to get themselves out of that type of situation? Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.